Good afternoon. My name is Chef White Gotten from the Northern Neck Technical Center Culinary Arts Program. Today we have a short video about Virginia apples. I'm going to ask a few, the students a few questions and then I'm going to do an apple demo of a small swan made from an apple. Thanks for being here. Now I'm going to ask questions. Makari, in the 1600s, what were most apples grown for in Virginia? Apple cider and hard cider. Quintessa, how many commercial orchards are there in Virginia today? More than 100, producing 5 to 6 million a year. Samuel, how large is Virginia apple production across the country? Virginia is the sixth largest apple producer in the United States. Robert, where are Virginia apples transported to? Virginia apples are distant from markets in 15 states and over 20 countries. Rian, what is the largest apple producing area in Virginia? The Shenandoah Valley. In Emmanuel, how long does it take to produce apples in Virginia? It takes 90 to 135 days to produce apples in Virginia. Thank you guys. Welcome back. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a little, a little apple swan from one of our fresh apples that we, we, we picked ourselves. What you do is take two butter knives and you put them on each edge. And what that does is it helps you make the incisions when you're making the apple swan. It gives you the different levels. And you're gonna cut all the way through until you get to about a halfway through the center of the apple. Just like that. And that pops off like that. We'll do the same thing on this side cut down. I'm going to turn the apple this way and I'm going to come back across. Now I'm going to put this aside. So as you see now you have little the flat surfaces for the apple. Now I'm going to make the wing. So again I've got the two uh, butter knives in there to help me support and cut the right thickness. To make the wing. So I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm going to do the same thing again. Put across this way. And then cut down. I'm going to do it one more time. And then I'm going to start building those wings. See how you kind of take that and you lay it back? So I've got one wing built. And now I'm going to do the other side the same way. Incision down, cut that little wedge out, set that off to the side, and again, make that same incision across, and then down. Now I'm going to make the final incision. Now I've got both my wings. So I kind of want to give you an idea of what it's going to end up looking like. And then what I need to do is I need to make an incision in here in the center for the neck and the head. So I've got to make, make a little paring knife, cut down inside, and just kind of make like a little rectangle incision. Then I've got to try to pop that out, kind of like that. There we go. 
Now, put this across. And what I want to do is I want to save a couple seeds because I want to make those for the eyes. And I'll show you that in a second. here and then I'm going to make a little incision for the head and then I'm going to cut around for the neck so then you have that and that's going to sit inside here like so whoops I gotta turn that off